Without further ado, let's give our rankings of the NFC East. Who do we okay. have at one, two, three, and four? So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Eagles at one. I just think with just looking at all the other teams and their problems, although the Eagles' defense is a mystery and seems like a big question mark. I think compared to the other teams, I feel like the Eagles have the best situation. Regardless of Jalen Hurts' relationship with the head coach. And I think he'll get along with Kellen Moore. So I'm going to go with the Eagles at number one. At number two, this is where things get a bit dicey for me. But I'll, I'll go with the Cowboys. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it safe. I think CD will eventually come back. I don't believe CD is just going to sit out for the rest of the season. You know, the, these wide receivers, we, we saw Brandon Ayuk. He was all, oh, I'm done with this team. Trade me. I'm, I'm demanding. I'm requesting a trade. But then he reported back to training camp. <laughs> I don't think these I don't think CD is going to sit out. I think he's going to play this out. And eventually either they're going to get a deal done or they're going to trade him at the end of the season. It's either, it's either or. So. That's what I believe. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys at number two. Number three, I'm going to go with the Commanders. I think, yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. I think they're just a tad better than the Giants situation. I think Jada Daniels, he's a rookie. This is a new coaching staff. Everybody's pretty much new. They brought in all these different pieces, albeit it's, it's an older Bobby Wagner and it's an older Austin Eckler. They have a bright future, but I don't. I don't think they're going to be better than the Cowboys or the Eagles. Is it possible? Yeah, it's it's possible, but I'm not going to place my bet. Actually, I did kind of place a bet, but that was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hey, I, I did kind of place a bet, but in terms of the podcast, I'm not going to definitively say that they are going to have a better season than the Cowboys or the Eagles. And then number four, I'm going with the Giants. I just think they're a lost cause. Daniel Jones is not good. The defense, besides the D-line, is a question mark. The offense, the offensive line is still a work in progress. I can only really look forward to Malik Neighbors. And that's about it from that offense. Mm -hmm. so. And, oh, yeah, and Darren Waller retired. So <laughs> that's, another, that's another thing. And, yeah, that, that's my rankings. What about you? I'm going to go with the same thing. I'm going to go with the Eagles at one strictly because uh, if they figure out, if they play really good football, they have a pretty high ceiling, honestly. If things just, if the team just meshes well, they get some leaps from the younger guys that they had on the team the past two years, like N'Kobe Dean, uh, Jordan Davis, you know, Jalen Carter. He, he played phenomenal, like for the first half of the season. If he can pull it all together for, then he hit the rookie wall. But if he can put it together the second year, and be more consistent throughout the entire year. They'll be much better on the D-line and the run game aspect. Um, Darius Slay, he's getting up there in age, but they got some – they got Quinion Mitchell. So, you know, they, they get drafted his um his successor. So, uh, and on the offensive end, yes, it's the, they still have more talent than probably everyone in the league at, on the offensive end. They just have weapons on weapons. And if they can, Kellen Moore can make it work, they'll be a dangerous team up until the playoffs. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with the Eagles at one. I think they'll win. I think their ceiling is like 12 wins. But I got them in – I got them like the same, like 10, 10 range, 10, 11 range with like with the Cowboys. But speaking of Cowboys, I'm going to go with the Cowboys at two. Um you got Dak Prescott. As much as people want to say, oh, Dak Prescott, blah, blah, blah. He was runner-up MVP. He had a career year last year. And and I, I do expect CD to eventually show up and play, whether he has a deal or not. So as long as we got them two on offense, I, I trust I trust us to win some games. And the defense, I think we'll be better. Mike Zimmer, in my opinion, is a better defensive coach. Uh, coach than Dan Quinn, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna stick with the Cowboys. That number two, 
won't win the division because NFC East cursed and all that other stuff. But three, I'm going with the Commanders strictly because the Giants just – they haven't – like, I don't understand. I, I really don't understand what the what the Giants got going on. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they're stinking up the joint when it comes to team roster building and management and all that stuff. But the Commanders, they just have done more. They've done more. They they seem like they want to win more, you know. They went out and hired guys and and they 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 bought free agents in. Whether they're not like obviously they're not like superstar players or anything, but they the, these are the type of guys that build deep rosters and you need guys to be able to be able to say next man up, you know. Especially when defense, you want to rotate D line and not what Dan Quinn likes to do. So that's 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 what you need in this in the league. And the Giants just don't have that depth and. Jaden Daniels, I expect him to be a better QB than Daniel Jones day one. So I'm going to go with the commanders at uh, come third of division, probably around seven, eight wins or so. So long as they do better than they did last year, you can count it as a success um, or a small step towards a sex, success. Uh, and obviously last, I'm going Giants. Uh, it's the Giants. They have Daniel Jones at QB, respectfully. Um, O-line. They tried to they, – they definitely went out and got to know they got John Runyon. I don't know if he's cooked food or not or how good he is. You would have to tell me that if you've been paying attention to him. Um, Evan Neal is dealing with injury, but even still, he wasn't all that great, mm-hmm. like, at all. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's – Malik Neighbors going – he's going to do his thing. Hopefully, Giants fans, hope you, you better hope he can get the ball because, uh, yeah, on one game, they're going to have, like, next to no run game. Yeah, it's just a bad situation for him. Yeah, by the way, John Runyon, he's actually pretty young. He's like only 26. I think I think he may have been injured a lot with us. Mm. I think that may have been why we we probably released him and his play wasn't to the caliber that we needed him to be, especially for the money that he probably demanded for us. So that's why we probably released him because, you know, we we developed offensive alignment all the time and we're not going to try to pay offensive guard a lot of money and he gets injured a lot but he is he is young um yeah actually i take that back he did play a lot for us he just probably he his his production probably wasn't as good as we wanted him to be so mm. yeah um yeah i i agree i agree with your your rankings um let's transition i want to go to Oh, by the way, that is going to do it for the NFC East. Just let me be.